Hello there YouTube, today here I am here to show you the Osborne One Computer. The Osborne One Computer is considered by a lot of people to be the very first laptop, and in a lot of ways it is, and I will go into more detail. But first, let's um, take a tour of the operating system and the um, user interface and the software that you can run with it. Um, let's start by starting up the machine. Um, this um, the Osborne computer runs a program that is known as CPM, which is kind of the predecessor to MS DOS, in a way, and I will explain that right now because MS DOS um, used commands such as dir, um, all that stuff. CPM actually uses that. Also, the person who um, um, invented 86 DOS, which went on to be um, um, MS DOS, actually ripped off this program. So, in a lot of ways, this is, um, thank God for this operating system, or Microsoft wouldn't exist, I guess. Um, so, CPM, of course, like I've said, runs very similar to MS-DOS. Now, the Osborne 1 computer came in a bunch of models. There was the Osborne 1, the 1A, which is this one right here, um, that came with a monochrome and a green screen. And, um... I mean a green screen and a black and white screen. I do have a black and white screen which I will review in another video and um, I guess I'll do a thing where you put your comments below and you say which one's better in your opinion. Now, the user interface I, like I said before is very similar to MS-DOS. It's dir for directory and um, you'll see all your programs. Now, I won't get much in these programs, I'll show you a little bit. The first one is SCS2, which is SuperCalc, Installs, which um, I, don't, I don't know what that does. There's DATTIM, which actually is date and time. There is Move CPM, which I guess gives you the ability to move it in, onto another disk. There's XSub, there's Auto Street, there's Dump, there's Help, there's Pit, there's Sat, and there's SysGen. Um, another cool trick to um, thing is that if you type in xdir, you actually get an extended directory, which will show you. Um, it will show you like um, you know your usual your. Um, we'll just show you an extension of your directory, basically. Um, both drives work on this machine. The next one I am going now. I'm going to show you some other applications that came with the Osborne. The first one will be WordStar. WordStar was a um, word processing application for the Osborne computer. So what I'm going to do right now is restart the computer. Um, put it in. And we'll um, boot into WordStar. You get this classic um, Osborne style logo which shows the O through the um right. and um I have to remember how to do this. I believe it's D for a new document and I will call this one um U Tube. The keys are a little sticky because um I had to really take them apart with my father who um Spray them contact cleaner that you can get at Radio Shack, and um, made the keys less sticky. But they're still a little, um, a little bad. But it, um, when I first got the machine, it was unusable due to that um, thing. Sorry about this. I'm trying to remember. Call this one N. And then I should be able. There we are. Okay. So I'm just going to go hello YouTube. This is an Osborne 1A. Computer from 1982. 
because it was actually a 50 character screen, it would actually roll over into the next thing. And there was a setting that you could use, so it would not do that, but I do not remember at this time. Um, so, yeah, that is WordStar. And then um, you just type away on it. You could type out your documents, um, all that good stuff. I guess you go up and kind of set your own. Edit the documents, insert like a P, I don't really know. Um, you know, just a basic word processor, but it was usable. It um, was very good. Next program I'm going to be showing you is actually um, MBasic, Microsoft's Basic for CPM machines. And um, there was an MBasic also for the K Pro, um, but I do not have my discs for the K Pro yet, and when I do, I, um, I will definitely be going over that. Okay, so there's Microsoft Basic. As we all know, Basic runs practically um, almost every single Basic runs exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ten print no. and um, I'll go hello. I am a nineteen. 83 laptop and quotation 20 go to 10 run okay so there you go it says it just basically does that um I do know some other basic techniques, but I'm not going to really go into those right now. Um, control C is break. And the last program I'm going to be showing you is, um, is um, SuperCalc. Very early spreadsheet. And um, I did not um, make this into a bootable disk, so I have to go dir and then sc2 because I had to get it off the CPM diskette because that's what it was on, but I wanted a known separate diskette for it. Okay. So it says um, SuperCalc um, version 1.0 Osborne OCC1. SN um, San Jose, California. So this was all developed in San Jose. Um, so yeah, spreadsheet kind of stuff, you know, you can go like, it would help you figure out all your calculations. Um, you could go, um, I guess, four, and then 78. And, you know, type in your numbers. There were other commands, too, that you could use to add these up. And really, it really was a usable, ingenious kind of spreadsheet that was very neat and very early. And that was one of the amazing things about it. And that was one of its really killer applications with SuperCalc, even much more than WordStar. Um, SuperCalc is, um, for someone who sat down with the SuperCalc manual and read it, it's very easy to use. And, um, yeah. So that's um, all the programs for the Osborne, but I wanted to go over why this is considered a lot of people to be the very first laptop. And um, I'm going to take my um, camera off the tripod to show you guys.